Yeah, this is Peter Todd, local poet and writer uh, of Gloucester. He does an article called Gloucester Look Back in North Shore North and also submits a lot of poems that have been published. They can be found in books at the local library. And he continues to write and do poems about Gloucester. That didn't stay up here up front? Even as we speak. Yeah, these, uh, these sculptures of these mermaids are made from a lot of local seashells. That's a crab shell with a limpet shell attached to the front of it. Quartz beachstone head and periwinkle body parts along with mussel shells and Atlantic Bay scallop shells for the tail. Also a lot of uh, local driftwood and slipper shells are used along with seagull feathers and local driftwood off of Niles Beach. Okay, yeah, that's, uh, that's an illustration that was done for Dimac Memoirs. Diane McDonald. Like the Tree of Life and The Tree death. of Life, yeah, and Death. Yeah, it shows uh, men and women and you know, young children sort of in the trees, and as you come down through the tree trunk, it goes into old age and death. So it's basically hey, representational. No. <laughs> Thanks, that's on tape. <laughs> it's okay, we'll use it. <laughs> no, it's okay. <laughs> Where are we now? On the death. On the death. <laughs> yeah, look oh. at that. Yeah. I mean, it's funny how you zoom in on one section of the artwork, mm -hmm. and that's the piece of art itself. You know, that's the frame drawing. You know, it's, yeah. you have so many drawings in one. In one like drawing. Artwork. Yeah, yeah, exactly. If you look. Yeah. Um, a lot of people don't look at all the detail. See, there's like a little boy there kind of pondering the, uh, the whole idea of, of uh, a skull, you know? Mm -hmm. And you notice that with kids. You know how kids are kind of fascinated with death? Yep. They're into bones and that the whole thing, you know? Stuff, yeah. yeah, I loved it when I was a kid. Yeah, I believe we talked about this when we were looking at a print of it. This is the original pen drawing of Charles Olson. It was used for an illustration in North Shore North to go with a story that Peter Anassis wrote about. City. Yeah, that's the illustration that was drawn for Peter and Nassus column in North Shore North. City Hall. City Hall and a shadowy figure that may look familiar to a lot of people. I'm sure it sits in everyone's subconscious that saw The Exorcist. The Rockport Fish Shack, yeah, with a motif number one in the background of the window. Rockport artist, fish artist. Yeah, there's the Rockport fish artist with the motif number one sitting in the window's reflection. It was a representational illustration for a column in Common Sense that was to do with issues regarding Rockport. There's one of your, actually, it's not a mermaid, is it? Or is that? You mean the, uh, the Egyptian? 
Yeah, this is sort of an Egyptian type figure, just made out of local seashells and stones that were picked up along Cape Hedge and Niles Beach. All sort of thrown together to represent Egyptian art. Charlie Vogel. Charlie Vogel. Journalist extraordinaire for North Shore North. Yeah, and these are other figures just made out of local driftwood and stones and shells collected along the beach of, uh, I should say, the beaches of Cape Ann. Can't forget Marilyn Monroe. Oh, that's her skirt at the. Uh, yeah, skirt being blown that's her. Yeah, that's her oyster skirt being.